In this video, we'll show you the signs and symptoms of kidney stones, so you know what to look out for. Let's get started. 1. Backside or groin pain. A kidney stone can go undetected until it starts to act up. Some people say it's a pain worse than childbirth. Sometimes kidney stone pain starts as a dull ache, but it can quickly escalate to severe cramping or sharp wincing pain. You usually feel it in your back or side underneath your rib cage. The pain can radiate into your lower abdomen and groin. 2. Tossing and turning. When a stone is acting up, you'll know it. People don't sit still with stones. They're moving around to try to find a more comfortable position. 3. Nausea or vomiting. Kidney stones can include severe pain, nausea, vomiting. These symptoms happen because of shared nerve connections between the kidneys and gastrointestinal tract. Stones in the kidneys can trigger nerves in the GI tract, setting off an upset stomach. 4. Urge to urinate or frequent urination. Sometimes people with kidney stones feel like they need to pee a lot. The symptom depends on where the stone is located. Stones that are close to the bladder will have a lot of bladder symptoms, including needing to go to the bathroom quickly and going in small amounts. 5. Blood in the urine. A kidney stone can easily irritate the delicate tissue that lines the urinary tract. Bleeding can be significant, microscopic, or somewhere in between. 6. Pain or burning with urination. If it hurts to pee, a kidney stone may be to blame, but some people experience this type of pain as a stone travels through the duct by which urine passes from the kidney to the bladder. However, it's worth noting that any burning sensation with urination is usually caused by an infection, such as a urinary tract infection, rather than by kidney stones. 7. Fever Fever isn't a common symptom of kidney stones. If you have a fever, it's possible you might have an infection instead of or in addition to kidney stones. People with kidney stones can develop fever, though, if a stone is blocking the flow of urine. If that's what's going on, it's an emergency situation. Antibiotics can penetrate an obstructed kidney, so you have to relieve the obstruction. People often seek medical attention for kidney stones due to the excruciating pain and nausea they're experiencing. Always seek immediate medical attention if you have severe pain, vomiting, bleeding, or signs of infection. Smaller stones often pass on their own. How long it takes to pass a kidney stone varies from person to person and by the size and location of the stone. If a stone is too large to pass on its own or is causing other problems, you may need to have it removed with ultrasound shock waves or kidney stone surgery. If left untreated, kidney stones could lead to kidney damage if they block the flow of urine. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on 14 ways to naturally get rid of kidney stones that work. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.